everyone. Today, our new and upgraded version of the custom board has arrived and we also have the older version on our end. So we will be comparing it and we will also teach you on how to install this into the OPI board. So first, we have the old one and as you can see, it is attached like this on the older design. And as you can see, it doesn't fit exactly because this custom board was originally designed for the Raspberry Pi or the RPI board. That is why it looks like this, but it can still work. And next, we have the RPI or the Raspberry Pi board, which this custom board was originally designed for. And as you can see, it fits exactly. The fan just needs to be moved. And now we have here the new design of the custom board. Let us see how does it work with the OPI board and the Raspberry Pi board. At the back of the custom board, you will still see the settings and the instructions on what pins should be used when you are inserting the custom board into your boards. And now let us go ahead and try inserting the new custom board to the OPI board. And at the back of the custom board, there should be two sets of pin sockets and it should be labeled whether it is for the OPI or for the Raspberry so depending on what type of board you're using you will insert the pins on that type of socket so for this one it should be the OPI socket since we are using the OPI board and as you can see it fits perfectly unlike before where it overlaps the board itself so right now it looks very clean and it is very functional also now let us go ahead and try the custom board on the raspberry pi and for the raspberry pi it also fits really well but there is a small part that needs to be cut if you are intending to use the custom board on the raspberry pi board this is the only difference between the old and the new design but overall it still works very fine and now let us try building a USB to LAN setup using an OPI board with our new and upgraded design of the custom board. On our first step, we need to assemble the stand of the OPI board. This will serve as the foothold of the board so that it will not be directly in contact with the surface that it will be attached on. And normally when you buy the board there is no heatsink that is included but when you buy the custom board for the OPI board the heatsink is already included in the package and that is where the heatsink is gonna be attached by then. On two sides of the stands, there should be two screws. Remove that one because that will be used for the custom board. We can now go ahead and attach the custom board to the OPI board. And there it is, it fits very well. So again, there should be a guide for the OPI and for the Raspberry Pi sockets so that you will be guided when you are attaching your custom boards to your OPI and Raspberry Pi boards. And after that, attach the two screws that we have removed earlier. 
so that the custom board will be firmly attached to the board. And we have here the SD card or the storage card where the software will be installed so you can insert this on the OPI board on this part so there is a different video regarding the tutorial on how to flash the software into your SD card and after that we will now move on to the coin slot and the pins that will be connected to the coin slot so on the coin slot there should be labels like the 12 volts, the coin, the ground and also the set on the lower end so that's what you will be looking out for when you are connecting the coin slot into the custom board and this is where you can see the pins for the coin slot where you will be inserting the sockets later on on the custom board you should also be able to see the same information that's on the coin slide like the ground the set the 12 volt and the labels that you can also see on the coin slot that's what you need to match because if you are not able to match it with the labels on the other side one of the devices might get short circuited so we now have our usb to lan adapter which will be connected onto our OPI board on the USB slot and we also have our LAN wire that will be connected to our access point so we have here a spare one which we'll be using Next, we have here a Comfast router. This router will then be configured so that it will serve as a access point. Inside the access point, there should also be labels. So you'll be inserting the LAN wire into the PoE LAN since that is what we are using. We now have here the power adapter for the Comfast access point and it should have two labels, one is PoE and LAN. The one labeled with LAN will be connected to our USB to LAN adapter and the other slot will be reserved for the access point itself. You can now go ahead and connect the PoE into the power adapter and directly into the Comfast access point. Of course, we will also be needing our internet connection. So go ahead and connect your LAN wire from your internet service provider into the OPI board. Our setup is almost complete and we are now on our last step, which is to use the 12 volts power adapter so that we can power our OPI board. So let us have a recap the wire on the custom board for the coin slot and we also have our wire from the power adapter the 12 volts power adapter we also have our USB to LAN adapter and the LAN wire from the USB to LAN adapter towards the LAN and the PoE is connected to our Comfast access point Let us now wait for the white light to turn off because when it turns off it means that the machine has booted and the software is already running. So let us wait for a few seconds and it already turned off meaning we can now connect to the machine. So turn on your Wi-Fi. and look for Comfast since that is our access point which hasn't been renamed yet and go ahead and connect to it 
and we are now being routed to the admin portal it's currently loading and we are connected we will now go ahead and try our coin slot to see if it will credit the amount that we are gonna be using so we will be using a few coins and as you can see it works because it credited the amount meaning our setup is complete and fully functional using our new and updated custom board for our OPI and Raspberry Pi boards which is usable for the USB to LAN and VLAN setups so that's it thank you for watching today see you next time